So hi guys, this is Ranjit and as you can see, uh, Dinesh from Asus is here with me and guys, if you have seen, uh, uh, I had unboxed this ROG smartphone and yes, it's a high-end phone, gaming centric phone with a lot of functions. But as Dinesh was here, he had one extra ROG phone and I'm going to ask you, to, let's open it up and let's see what's inside that. Okay. Yes, Ranjit. Let's let's, let's give it a try. Let's actually show the high tech technology which is inside the phone. So we are going to try to open this up and let's see what's inside this ROG phone. And uh, you say you have some special uh, what do you say cooling stuff and whatever. Correct. So hopefully, if we open it up, we'll be able to see it, right? Absolutely. So let's do it and let's check ROG phone from inside. So here what we've done is we've actually disassembled the whole phone okay. uh, and we've kept it ready for actually showing the entire teardown. Yeah, because uh, uh, it took a lot of time to actually correct. open this up and it was a very messy procedure. And guys, don't do this because you'll destroy the phone. So yeah. anyway, Dinesh, uh, let's uh, just quickly open this up. and Correct. Show. So on the top, what you have is the AMOLED panel, which is with HDR, which we've spoken about earlier. So we've disassembled the AMOLED panel. So you see the panel actually come out we've actually completely taken out the assembly out I here i just wanted to show how thin is this as you can see this is the amulet panel with the gorilla glass 6 right absolutely <laughs> and the speciality is this is like what 90 hertz it can go right correct that's right it goes up to 90 hertz and one millisecond pixel response time cool i'll just keep that to the side let's continue and then this is the actual 3d vapor cooling chamber okay we've completely dismantled it so in the process it got a bit uh, jagged okay mm -hmm. and what do you see out here this is where it actually connects to the processor so you can see the processor out here below and thus all the heating of the processor is actually transferred to the 3d vapor cooling chamber and it actually cools down the processor in the process so this we can is actually what see the chip, right? Let me just zoom in. Yes, sure. This is here is the processor. Yeah, yeah. here is the processor. Again, we like we had to junk it out to remove it. <laughs> Correct. And once we remove this layer, then okay, what you see down? Okay, so here is where all the assemblies are. Okay, so this is the battery, actually the four thousand mAh battery. And what you see out here uh, is the main camera, which is the Sony IMX363. And as you can see, it kind of, you know, moves. It's got the OIS optical image stabilization support. This is the secondary camera. And the PCB is below this. Uh, what you've got out here is the main uh, speaker for the receiver function. Plus, this is a 5 magnet speaker, which adds for the stereo effect. It's both at the top and the bottom, Correct. right? This is the bottom speaker, which has a bigger chamber. Uh, now, what you need to understand is that in the ROG phone, uh, we actually have multi-layer cooling mechanism and for that, you know, I had actually gotten a separate part to show it in more detail as to how does this work. So if you see here, because we had actually disassembled it, so this came off, but here is this large uh, chamber out here, which is the uh, 3D vapor cool chamber and on top of that, you've got this graphite carbon cooling pads. Okay, now these are multiple layers of cooling which have been built inside the phone and this actually enables the processor to perform uh, at its peak performance for a very large duration and actually apart from these two layers you've got the third layer which is out here that you can see over the entire PCB you've got this copper heat spreader which further you know takes the heat from the PCB and the phone and dissipates it. So we've taken this out and this is the back cover of the phone. This is a yeah, Gorilla is Glass 5. The back, yeah. And you can see here this heat spreader is actually connected out here to the vents which actually you know like further help with heat dissipation. And that is how actually you know ROG phone ensures very high degree of cooling for ultra fast performance on a continued basis and therefore it has very high endurance of peak performance. So PUBG playing for two hours, like no issue. Absolutely. And that too at very high frame rates and no frame drops, really smooth experience. And now, you know, on this particular phone, we've got uh, these uh, air triggers. And these ultrasonic air triggers are actually built in we into these areas. Sure, this, right? sure, right. Yeah. So these ultrasonic air triggers are actually built in out here in this area and this area. Plus the third one is actually built out here. So the two at the bottom are actually used for squeezing function and the one out here which is on the right hand side top and the left hand side top is actually used for your functions by using the phone as a gaming console. 
and as you can see there are no physical buttons out here but these are ultrasonic air triggers which have been built in into the phone out here apart from this uh, this motor that you see out here is essentially the main vibrator for the haptics uh, superior haptics that you have on this particular phone so this motor actually helps give the entire haptic feedback while you're actually gaming apart from this the rog logo which lights up at the back is actually lit up by these led lights this one right we are talking yes, about this yes. one yes it's actually lit up by these led lights which are out here inside the phone and uh, these actually help up uh, help light up the logo ranjit is there anything else uh, i think so we have the charging port one yes. over here and one over here correct. right correct and uh, this is uh, qualcomm quick charging 4 supported as you can really see the x1 that's right and this one the regular one is uh, 3 i guess right? correct qualcomm quick charge 3.0 that's right so you've got two charging ports out here and here the connector which is there when you actually plug in the aeroactive cooler accessory you get a 3.5 mm jack as well on the side plus you've got a 3.5 mm jack out here at the bottom as you can see so there's a 3.5 mm jack out here yeah. and when you plug in the aeroactive cooler on the side out here you get a 3.5 mm jack out here as well so this phone in a way supports both on the bottom as well as on the side a charger as well as a 3.5 mm jack so thanks Dinesh for like uh, opening this up and like I think so we ruined this one <laughs> but yeah thanks for doing this so guys this is what the ROG phone is from inside I hope like uh, you guys uh, like this a different kind of a video Dinesh thanks for doing this so guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys